New shape VW Crafter. It's got super king bed. It's got a large shower. So you've got a dog crate. Let's have it. Hand tour. Hello, my name is Ryan and I'm from Valley Campers and I'm here again to give you a fantastic, wonderful, marvellous van tour. Today, we've got a lovely Onyx, as you can see behind me. Onyx is a long wheelbase VW Crafter. It's the new shape. It's created by the team at Reset and Chill for one of our competitions. The team at Reset and Chill have a background in Alpine chalet building and renovating and they've really brought that to this van. There's a few fantastic features know to be the king size bed, the dog crate, huge shower, and a few other little bits and bobs. Let's go and have a little gander. First things first, the bathroom or the shower area. So this van is fitted with this huge quadrant cubicle. It's 100 by 760 millimeters. It's absolutely massive. I reckon I could shower two people in here quite easily. If you've got a little one or a dog, you can get them in for a little blast. It comes with these beautiful timbre doors, as you can see. They magnetically meet in the middle. Very nice, very smooth, very clean action. We've got some lovely ambient lighting. And behind me, we've got the matte black thermostatic shower mixer. The water for this is hot. It comes from the heater that's on board. And the drainage for this one, it goes directly through a little pipe. And there is actually a tank in the garage area to stick under the van for you to wheel off the water and your brown waste water and get rid of it as you need. Regarding poo plops, there is a toilet. We have that toilet just over here in this unit, which we can take out and use as we need and then store away. Yeah, to keep that, keep that hidden away because no one wants to be looking at the toilet, do they? With that in mind, you are always going to be very nice and clean whilst out off on your adventures. Anyway, that's enough about cleanliness. Let's talk about livingness. Let's have a look at the living area. So welcome. This is the main living space of Onyx. This van was designed with functionality in mind. It's a very open space. A lot of things are modular, so we can take things out and put things in. It's an absolutely wonderful space to entertain, to live, and to be on adventure, really. The team at Reset and Chill, they started out designing and renovating and building Alpine chalets in the French Alps. And that is kind of the overall arcing of this van. It's absolutely stunning. So on the walls here, you can see the soft brushed and baked wood. That is a trait come from that Alpine style. We've also got the beautiful oak tops on the kitchen and also the table. The van itself houses two skylights. So although it's cozy and warm, there's still a lot of light coming into the van. So this space here is the second bed. You could comfortably seat three people. You could squeeze another one there, but I would say seating and dining for free. Underneath this, we have the kitty crate where you can put the dogs. You could also use it for storage. So imagine this, it's evening, the sun is setting. You're in a picturesque location, perhaps over a cliff. I don't know, somewhere beautiful. You've got father up there making some lovely dindons. And you've got mum, mumsy plop, sat here reading the paper, the couple of dogs there playing chess and the little one down in the crate having a little scratch. Beautiful, picturesque. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's talk about the kitchen and let's go and have a look. Welcome to the kitchen, the heart of the van, the hub where all the magic happens. This kitchen in particular is absolutely beautiful. As with the rest of the van, it's very functional whilst retaining a lot of style. First things first, we've got the matte black cupboards. These are absolutely beautiful. We've got the soft clothes on the drawers and plenty of storage space for those pots and pans. We've also got a vanity cupboard above, which houses a little mirror and a little light for you to do all your vanity. So here we've got the matte black mixer tap 
um, which is hot, comes off the 10 litre boiler, and we've also got the miniature Belfast sink. This drains out with the shower into the pipe out, um, as we mentioned earlier. Got twin burner gas here, hob. The gas is housed at the back of the van. We also have the subway tile splashback. This is a bit of a feature in this van. Absolutely stunning. For me, this is one of my favorite features of this van. I just think it looks absolutely beautiful. All your friends will think you are very cool if you pull up with this. Down below, we've got the 50 litre fridge freezer. Dometic, standard, very efficient, runs off the solar. We'll talk about the electrics in a minute. Anyway, that's enough about the kitchen. I am famished. Let's go and have a little lie down. Let's go and have a look at the bedroom. Do you like my socks? They're purposely odd. So this is the bedroom area and I'm currently splayed out on the super king bed. Well, technically it's a king size bed. It's 10 centimeters short of a super king. I think the term a recent she'll use is, is a super size. Either way, it's massive. I mean, I am five foot 10. <sighs> There's loads of space. Um, arguably, you could sleep three adults on this quite easily. Or if you've got a little like, I mean, personally, if I had it in my garden, you've got the kiddies there. You can have like four kiddies having a little sleepover. It's amazing, versatile space. It's very, very comfortable. These cushions are memory foam. And again, the storage runs all the way through the top of the van. To my right, we have the lovely storage cupboard. And inside that, we've got a twin USB. There is a small window with a fly screen there to let some air in. And of course, you've got the skylight above the bed for the stargazing. We have the two lamps in the bed area as well very funky very recent and chill um very ambiance and of course we've got the bunk underneath the single bunk that is more than comfortable enough for an adult so this is fully a free berth if not four i'll let you work that one out for yourself anyway that is enough about this beautiful bed area i'll tell you what I, I genuinely actually would love a nap right now i could actually just chill in here but we've got to move on we've got things to do things to see um, so let's have a look downstairs because there's a huge garage area that's got your name on it. It's going to have a little gander. Oh. So the garage. This is absolutely massive. It's huge. <laughs> look at the amount of space you have in here. I mean, for me personally, I've been in vans. We take a couple of paddle boards, maybe a surfboard, maybe a bike. You can get them all in here. You can literally get them all in here. If you, I mean, some bikes, obviously, take your front wheel off. You could probably get a couple in there. I think you get two two bikes, two paddle boards, surfboard, everything. Absolutely everything. It's fantastic. Um, it's got this outro flooring, so you can literally throw anything at it. This stuff's hard bearing, brilliant. So the garage houses a few, few kind of key items for this van. We've got the container for the gas. It's a legal requirement if you have a gas tank on board that it is in a metal sealed metal box. That's what this puppy is here for. Um, obviously with the key to give to the kids. This here is a 75 litre water uh, unit. This um, runs through into the 10 litre water heater um, to boil the water for your shower and for washing up, etc., etc. This thing is a beast. Personally, I've got a 75 litre on my own van and that lasts me three, four days, two people showering, you sweet. So if I just move forward, I can show you this on the right. This is a safety switch, turns all the electrics off. So if you put in the van into hibernation mode, you knock that off and basically let it go to sleep for a bit. Next to that, we have the electrics in this cupboard here. We've got your 12 volt fuses and we've also got the 240 volts. So when you're on hookup, uh, we've got the solar controller, um, next to that, we have the battery charger. And then down here, we've got the split charge, which runs once the engine's running on the van, it will obviously charge the leisure battery. We've got the fuse board here, the 12 volt fuses for all the items in the van. Um, when one of those flashes up, that means the fuse is broken and you replace it. Just a simple cassette fuse like any vehicle would normally have. And we've got a list of all the items within the fuse box very handy very simple and very easy to maintain if there's an issue below that we have the two batteries with two 20 amp hours between those 
that is more than enough power for you and your needs whilst away on your adventures. So upstairs on the roof, we've got two solar panels, it's 340 watts altogether, coupled with the split charge system. You're not gonna have an issue with these batteries, nor will you have an issue with running out of power. This van has everything you need to be off grid with your family and your dogs or your friends, whatever you're doing, is ready for adventure. Least but not last, we have the the kitty crate, you get access to it from behind. Although there isn't actually, the one thing about this van which I think uh, would be an improvement is access to this um, from here, maybe a sort of gated system. So you can let the little ones out into this area. I don't know, maybe you can make this into some sort of ball pool. Good idea, maybe not. Anyway, that's enough about the garage. Let's have a look at the exterior of this van and see what it has to offer. So here we are outside the van. Uh, as mentioned previously, it's a long wheelbase VW Crafter. It's a new shape model, uh, it's a trend line, which means, I think it means it's got 140 brake, drives like a dream. Anyway, on the exterior, we have populated it with the stunning BC tree line. As mentioned earlier, it's one of our competition vans, so we stick this on all these beasts. There isn't too much going on the outside. It is very pretty. Uh, one thing to mention though is this. 240 hookup, so if you get to site, bosh that in and all your 240 plugs will come live using the inverter. Beautiful. If you come around to the back, classic back, two doors, they open and close as one would expect a door to do. <laughs> as we move round, we've got the outlet for the treatment boiler. So this uh, is an outlet for the gas, for the heat that comes out, for the steam, etc. There's nothing to do with that, but it doesn't actually look too bad. I think it looks sound. And then over here, we have your brown waste container. This is, uh, it's about a 70, 75 litre, I think. And it stores nicely in the garage as well. Bit of a funny one, just spoke to the missus, she's not very happy, so here I am. Um, guys, that's enough for me, this has been wonderful, I love the fact you watch these things, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff, tell your friends, if you want a van like this, head to vanicampers.co.uk, we give them away twice a month, and we will be giving more away, just like Onyx very soon. I love you, have a wonderful day, goodbye.